Hello again and welcome to Political News, Political Views. And uh, the show where no teleprompters, no cue cards, no idiot boards. Just the two of us. Um, the purpose of this show is... Uh, there's many reasons for it. One of them is Todd and I have both run for office. And one of the things that we saw is that our current uh, illustrious leaders um, pay lip service to us unless they're asking for money and at that point they'll be a little bit nicer. Um, I'm going to uh, do the Trump and uh, Hey, yeah. the majority of the time, I mean, half the time, I should say the majority of the time that we, when we do see our so-called elected officials, it's only during election time. Yeah, no. The majority of the time they stay hidden. I have to admit, they're, 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 you have made me very happy today. Uh oh. And it's really nice seeing you. Mainly because it, it when I have more hair than you do, <laughs> I mean, that makes me feel good. <laughs> Hey, it's the new look. Pretty soon it'll be smooth here and here. Okay, well. Uh, okay. I won't say smooth any other place, but hey. Okay, well, all right. Uh, <laughs> back to business. Okay. Um, <coughs> normally I, I uh, you know, quietly, you know, express myself. Really? Yeah. Okay. But tonight I think uh, that uh, you should do it. I should do what? Yeah, open the show. I mean, come on. It's, it, hey, if I open the show, we're going to have to stay with what with the tax breakdown from Biden. I mean, come on. Well, you can start there. You know, I mean, just because you're wrong, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> well, I, have you heard his commercial where uh, they're saying that if we elect Biden, anybody uh, who makes under four hundred thousand won't get a tax increase and all this? Yeah. I mean, that's false. I mean, when you think about it, first off. They're talking about repealing uh, the Trump tax breaks. No, they're oh, not going to repeal it. Something. They're going to increase it from 21 to 28 percent. You didn't tell me I had my earpiece in. No, I figured you were talking to somebody, and you know I'm not that important anyway. So go ahead. <laughs> but I mean that that's going to be an increase uh, once they didn't, take that didn't, away. Didn't Trump accuse Biden of doing that? <laughs> Having yeah, an I didn't want no accusations oh, okay. being made, so I okay, took the earpiece out so I nobody could say you that. that. Okay, go ahead. But <laughs> but. You know, then they, they they take that away. Then he's come right out and said that he's going to raise the corporate income tax yeah, from, from 20 21 to 28. Correct. Which, that's going to drive up costs and cost us jobs. Well, let me ask you something. Before the Trumpster lowered mm -hmm. it, who the hell was paying it anyway? They weren't paying taxes in the first place. They all pay taxes, but again, oh, come on. they look, they unless the state gave them a tax break of some kind, you know, that's how they get their taxes lower. Plus, they go and look for loopholes to drop yes. through and everything else. Yeah, and Trump helped them get more loopholes, and they pay less in taxes. What I don't understand is this. For the amount of money that we pay in taxes, why do you think that's fair that, you know, what, what they're paying now? Because... Well, currently, as a citizen working, my... The majority of us pay 23.6% tax. That's yeah, your state so. and federal combined. Yeah, yeah probably so. Okay. Uh, the majority of these businesses, I mean, they're paying more than that. Some are paying less, depending on which uh, tax breaks they've got and everything like that. You know, the whole thing is, right now we've got lying on both sides, and the Biden one is a bad one. That 400000 is a bad one because, and I've said this to you before, 80% of the people that are making that 400000 are business owners. Well, okay, first of all, that is a starting point, mm -hmm. just like uh, the Trumpsters, Mexico is going to pay for the wall. You know, that no, was this his, is different than that. that. No, that was just his starting point. It didn't materialize. You, you sure it that? never did. Yeah, okay, all right, well, the... I mean, anytime, he, anytime we raise taxes, there's going to be back and forth. There's going to be back and forth. Yes. The one thing I will say with Biden, and and the more, more and more, I'm being surprised is how many are starting to come out of the closet for 
uh, they're willing to work with Biden. They're willing to work across the aisle. Not all of them. There's some uh, like your Gates and, and uh, Jim Jordan and those that haven't got a brain in their head uh, that can't think on their own. They think Trump is going to be their leader for life, well, which he, that, he, but... he, he may be. But they're just the fact of the matter is if we don't get a government that works for us, we are going to implode. Uh, what we have seen over the last four years, actually, I, I'm even going to go into Obama's time because McConnell, that little uh, prank that he pulled with uh, uh, Gar uh, Merrick Garland, you know, come on. If your word is no good. Well, first off, with Merrick Garland, generally when they appoint or I sh yeah, appoint a Supreme Justice to the courts. Usually they'll get it, but normally it's under a friendly Senate, and that means a Senate of the same party as the president. But the fact of the matter is they lied. Who? They said that uh, uh, we don't do this this close to an election, but that was ten and a half months out. Yeah. Uh, I don't think rigor mortis had set in on... Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, well, when Ruth, they were RBG, already talking about that. RBG had stated back during the uh, earlier in it, uh, I can't remember exactly when she had said it, but she had said, yes, nine justices need to be put on the bench. She says the president's term doesn't end at three That's years. That's true, but it, she also... It ends on at the fourth year. Due to the fact that it was so close to the election, even she asked her... Uh, uh, was it granddaughter? Yeah, to record. Her last and word then uh, supposedly was that. She uh, yeah, didn't okay. Want it well, done. you must be on the Trump side because Trump said that. Well, you know, and, hey, and we don't know. We weren't there. Well, Trump wasn't there either. You're right. All right. But he did his constitutional responsibility. Uh, oh, okay. All right. You I mean, mean, after all, isn't that his job? Our government is supposed to be fair, but what we see is a bunch of bullshit. You don't think that if Biden wins, him stacking the courts is going to come to fruition? You know something? I wasn't for that until right. the last couple days. You and think it's fair to stack the court? Well, do you think it's fair what Trump did? By appointing a justice? Well, the, there's That's also now coming out. Duty. Uh, well, so was uh, well. Then why wasn't Merrick Garland given a chance? I told you, there's a difference on that. There's, and no, they'll explain no, that. no, no. There's no difference. There, uh, the, it's the president's job to appoint. It's the Senate's job McConnell to confirm. McConnell said not this close to an election, and I'm that's why he make wouldn't an do it. For it, I'm telling you, then, then, generally the, it wasn't a friendly Senate to Obama. I don't care. The, the fact is, he uh, he should have gotten a hearing. Okay, you could have voted him down. You could have done that. Right. At least you would have gotten a hearing. I think I think people would have accepted it better that way if, if they had voted him down. I'll agree with you on that one, yes. Okay, but then when you come back less than two months before an election and say, oh, well, we're going to do it, and oh, what well, we said before, oh, don't, don't listen to that. That's the difference between well, a friendly okay. Senate and a non-friendly Senate. All right, well, Senate. let's take a look at your friendly Senator uh, <laughs> McConnell. I, I you, can't you stand You are aware... Him. You are aware that uh, there was a Russian oligarch that he got sanctions removed that Obama had kicked out you, for you, being you a told, spy. You told me that before, but I don't. I, I remember, that is but true. I never. I never. The aluminum plant. Into uh, it. Yeah, he got a kickback on that. Oh, uh, I'm sure they all do. Yeah, yeah, and he told the people of of Kentucky. Well, the thing was, the intelligence department and Obama had kicked him out because he was found to be a spy. Right. I remember him being and removed. And McConnell brought him back, but McConnell got those uh, sanctions removed on his own. Hmm. And the guy's putting in an aluminum plant, $20 million, okay, and oh, you're going to have jobs. Well, yeah, you're also going to have a spy there. He's not, come on. And, and Trump's done a lot of uh, money laundering, but that goes on a lot with real estate. Like, apparently the laws are... Well, not only in real estate because yeah. you know we've got money laundering going on with the Biden family too. Yeah, uh, I, I, oh yeah, boy, am I <laughs> glad you brought that up. Uh, you, you walked into that one. I don't know if I should put my mask back on or not. No, I got. I, I saw we have a nice that. Now, here's shield. what I, I read mm -hmm. on that scenario. Okay, and it's on both sides. 
So let me see if I understand this. I'm going I'm to run this by you because this sounds like an episode of uh, As the World Trumps. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what I read was Hunter Biden in California flew to a small town in New Jersey. Okay. Dropped off three computers to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Now, Mac, the uh, young man, uh, old, uh, old young man in the shop who is legally blind, thought that was Hunter Biden. He saw something that said Biden on the computer, so he put two and two together and came up with three and a half. Okay. The person signed the slip stating that uh, if they didn't pick him up within 90, 90 days, days, they didn't they get him. Okay. He wasn't sure if the signature was Hunter Biden. Hmm. And then afterwards, he after the 90 well, days, wait a minute, let me finish. Okay. He took it out, took out the hard drive, and he saw all these emails. And then the first person he's called was Rudy Giuliani. Now, I want to ask you. First of all, that's that's not quite right. All right. Well, let me uh, bring it up because I because didn't. first off, now he he called somebody over at the Senate or something somebody over there first. I don't remember. I didn't pay attention to it. I've been just listening to bits and pieces over the radio. But I mean, the FBI has already confirmed that they are that one uh, computer they are is investigating Hunt, uh, Hunter Biden's computer. Uh, I haven't read that yet. <laughs> I have not read so that yet. So that portion of it there, they've uh, already, and it's been part of a money laundering investigation for over 10 months now? Yeah, you know something that's funny? They don't have no proof of it. And here's the thing. How is it that uh, the one person that knows all about it is Trump? Now, I know he's a stable genius <laughs> because he said so. But hey, as far as proof what do, what on do it. They say, uh, the, what is it they say? The the genius is only a genius in his own mind. Yeah, well, he's he's, he's got something in his own mind. <laughs> okay, you go ahead and keep talking. I'm going to find it when I do, because I. <laughs> <laughs> well, just make sure it's just not CNN and the, all those left-leaning no. newspapers. No. You, you need to you need to find one that's kind of neutral, which we don't find too many of those anymore. Oh yeah, and then you know the thing about socialism. They still need to define what socialism is and look up what it. What the I've 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 had the definitions at one time because me and you were talking about this. Yeah. And I brought them up. I mean, there there's a fine line between all of them, other than capitalism. But there is a it's it's a, not quite as fine there. But uh, the definition for socialism, if I remember right, I'm gonna pull it up. What the heck? Okay. Why not? <laughs> Instead of sitting here. Well, now we're going to be really quiet here. All right. No, it's, Here's it's, your definition for socialism. According to uh, a political and economic theory of social organizations, which advocates that the means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole, which is basically communism. Well, yeah, what, what socialism is now, what they're saying is they don't want the government involved in all. However... But that isn't socialism. Uh, no, this is the version of what they're saying about... The far left Sanders is saying and, that. and yeah, all that. That, that well, it's socialism, his, that the his, government's going to run everything. His version is still the government running everything. It's just That's a matter socialism. of... That's not socialism. They like the word socialism because it sounds... Badass. Well, it's because oh, it's they're, they're, they're trying to push socialism as a society uh, coming together. Which, okay, well, but when you look at it, what we've had uh, Venezuela once was a, a prosperous country with all their oil and everything like that, but they once they burned through their profits that they had in their bank from the oil, I mean, the country's gone down okay, drastically. But who was in charge of that? I don't remember who the Venezuelan president was. Yeah, but uh, uh, he was communist. He ran the country. But under... it was considered a socialist country. Yes, it was. But like I said, socialism and communism are real close together. Okay, well, Trump can. Uh, Trump has. This got isn't to... Trump. This is what the definitions of the actual. Yeah, thing. that's. I mean, definition. there is. There, 
I don't know if there's actually a definition for what Bernie Sanders is. But see, that's what I'm saying. They use the word, but their meaning doesn't fit. It's it's just a word that sounds uh, Well, bad. over the last 10 years, they've come up with some no, brand 40 new years, words. 40 years. Well, I'm they've just been saying using over 10 years, word. they've been using I mean, the socialism didn't start with, with the Trumpster. It started way back when. Uh, over 40 years ago, and it, it was just because it sounded bad. It was the same thing when um, Joe McCarthy was in, and if you read a magazine that, that uh, smelled of communism, you must be a communist. So they got onto that bandwagon, and they have stayed there. There just actually like, is a definition for democratic socialist. Okay, go ahead. It's a uh, democratic socialism is defined as having a socialist economy in which the means of production and socially and collectively owned or controlled alongside a democratic political system of government. Democratic socialists reject most self-described socialist states and Marxism and Leninism. Oh, isn't that nice? But it's still What is it saying socialist. then? Well, socialism, socialist societies haven't lasted very long. But my point, wait, oh, okay. We have socialism, which close to communism, fascism, all of that, but then we have democratic socialism, which that still doesn't say what it is. <laughs> no, it's one of those things that have been created, like you said, in oh. the last 40 years. Well, then, then Trumpism is still, the new... The it's new, uh, it's a socialist society alongside a democratic Okay, so, so now we can, political we can add uh, Trumpism to this uh, I wouldn't lexicon. be surprised if there is an actual word for that. Uh, well, I got the feeling that he's going to start his own party, and the reason being is he likes people giving him money. Now, the, here's one well, of the I'd things... I'd like people to give me money. Oh, yeah, I would too. Uh, <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> so we're not much the different things, there. <laughs> here's one of the things that has happened, and it's now starting to come out, and I told you this before. Okay. So when I say it, you remind me if you do, remember it. I will. Did I not say that he was burning through money? Well, there were a couple of reasons. One, every city that he went in, they had to put up signs and all of that because he wanted to see it. He wants to see, he loves what, looking at himself. Uh, Mr. Parscale somehow supposedly embezzled $40 million. Now, we're talking about a billion dollars now. So $40 million, that's a nice chunk of change. So they got rid of him. They put in Stempion. Now, Trump's family also works for the campaign, and Trump's family is very well paid. So it amazes me. Now, you've run for office. You've, you've collected money. You didn't put your family on the payroll. No, they're too expensive. Okay. <laughs> so this way, the Trumpster is funneling money to the family, Eric, Donald Jr., even the, the one that he can't remember her name, Tiffany. Right. He couldn't remember her name, except that she was a little bit chunky. Uh, but they're all rewarding themselves. Now, if I was a uh, someone, now, did you see what, uh, what he said to Sheldon Edelman? Mm -mm. Uh, he was talking with Sheldon Edelman about two months ago, and he wanted to know why he hasn't sent him any more money. And the way he said it, he actually offended this guy. Now, this guy gave the Republican National Committee $300 million. Okay. He's given Trump $75 million. Okay. And you have the nerve to say, I mean, he didn't, it was the way he said it. And apparently he was really taken aback. He's a, he owns uh, the Sands and several other casinos. He's. So did he turn around and sh shuttle no, some money no. to the Democratic Party afterwards? Because no, Trump not the Democratic mad. Party, but he didn't give any more to Trump. And uh, Trump was insulted. By, well, wait a minute, you brought that on yourself. But now that people are starting to find out where the money went, mm -hmm. oh, they ain't too thrilled with it. Now, a report came out today about another $2.5 in taxpayer money that has gone into the Trump businesses mm -hmm. that he has worked in there. He's using the taxpayers to help fund his businesses. Hmm. Well, you would think he would get in trouble for that. Well, yeah, but he keeps uh, interfering with the emoluments. Now, it's in the courts, and it keeps going from level to level to level. Now, and let me ask you this. Uh, the, the young lady was uh, sworn in 
for show yesterday. That the real one comes today. Yeah, the, yeah, it that, already happened. That's she is uh, sworn in. Yeah, that happened today. Yeah, what happened last night? That was for the Trump. Uh, it doesn't always happen that way, but no, you're right. Trump no, that's probably just, wanted a showing for it. Yeah, that's just for a new episode of the, uh, you know, as the world <laughs> reeks. Uh, so now he is the a showman. Thing, you got to admit. I mean, the guy. He's had his TV shows, you know, and everything. What did he I'm, do on his TV show? He sat there and... and you're uh, fired. <laughs> first of all, he, he can't fire anyone. You, you remember how he fired Tr Comey? Yeah. <laughs> what do you remember? It wasn't like the TV show, let's put it that way. No, I'll tell you what happened. He sent his bodyguard over with a letter because he didn't have the guts to do it himself. So the bodyguard goes over to his office. He's not there. Comey is in L.A. He is having, speaking to the new recruits for the FBI. He's giving a speech. Behind him is a TV. Across the TV, <laughs> Comey is fired. Now, he doesn't know anything about it, but the students were looking at it, or the, the new recruits, they saw it. Right. He didn't know anything about it. Imagine how that would have. I would have liked to have seen that, the look on his kinda, face. That's kind of like you know now uh, that when I ran when I was running uh, a trucking company in Taylor, Michigan. You know, the head honchos would call me and say, "Tell me, I have to let somebody go." And you know, they, of course, mm -hmm. they told me who I had to fire. You know, and it's like, eh, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you should call them. No, that's your job. Okay, so yeah. You know, I can see somebody passing the buck a little bit, but in, in this situation, you know, I think Trump should have done it personally. Trump has never done it personally. He fired uh, uh, Tillerson while he was in Africa on, twi uh, on a tweet. Um, all the others, he's, he hasn't Oh, I'm sure he's fired quite a few people he in hasn't, person. He Maybe himself, not in, since he's been president, but I, I would imagine he, he's had no, plenty of practice of actually, firing people. Actually, uh, his... Um, the head of his casinos was on the radio today and he was saying Trump did not do that. Also, he said there was, Trump did another thing that really uh, pissed right. people off. When they won the big prize, now this guy who ran the casino for him said that was actually a good thing because as people win, it goes out and just, then more just and so more so people, people are aware, if they haven't been already, I mean, we already know that your dislike for the man is oh, before no, he was no, president. No. Oh, it's I, just carried I to, into it. I so. try to hide that as best I can. <laughs> yeah. You're not doing very well at hiding it. Really? Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't know this. Um, no, I don't like him. And, this and is, I think that's, that's, that goes to say for a lot with is, the nation as well. A yeah. lot of the people who dislike Trump is from okay, before he think, was president. Do you president. think it's from the party or... The man himself. It's the man himself. Because a lot of people didn't, were not thrilled with Reagan, but they liked him as a person. Right. And I will say this: Trump has made me appreciate George W. Bush. I mean, if I had, <laughs> if I had my choice, and, and I thought, <laughs> I didn't agree with what he did, but I didn't not like him. Right. Okay. Well, like, like I said, the majority of what's going on in our nation right now, when it deals with Trump is the people have a genuine dislike for the man himself. Now, can I ask, is that what something that the people do, or would you say that he brings that on himself? Well, if for anybody to be disliked, it has to be from that person bringing it on themselves. But that's all fake news, because the one thing that Trump says that really brightens my day and makes me laugh is when he says, I've unified the country. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that, I do that same thing. Yeah, only I'm rolling on the floor. It, maybe in some aspects he might have minorly because he's <laughs> kept his base through the whole <laughs> it, election. Yeah, no, his base is fanatical. That's the one thing you that I will say. Fanatics on fanatical. both sides. You've no. got you've got the far left liberals that are out there rioting and looting. Oh, and that, oh, else that, oh don't do that. Cities. Don't do. Uh, but no. now wait. Don't sit here and defend it without listening. For a simple fact, you've got you got right wings that are out there doing stuff like that too. Then don't I'm say not the left say, wings. But there's the majority of them are happening in democratic cities. 
that uh, you're having issues with rioters and protests. What now, do you there's mean by nothing wrong that? with protests. What do you mean by democratic cities? Because I, I live here. And this is in a Lake Republican Orion. city. Oh, oh, so it's it's more Republican in this area. So than what it am is. I then? You're a Democrat living in a Republican city. Oh, so I'm a foreigner. <laughs> I'm an alien. There you go. You're yeah, you're okay. an alien. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, it, and if you look at it, Seattle, it's a democratically run city. Well, uh, San Francisco is a democratically run city and state. <laughs> But you know, these this, are the see, issues these that are, this is Trump Trumpism. This is the stable genius. No, coming no, no. Up with, this isn't Trumpism. This is no. This the is facts. Trumpism. That's the fact. When you have a city that has Democrats and Republicans in it, you mm -hmm. cannot say it's run democratically. It is or, when so, it, you got those so Democratic mayor, Republic Democratic governors. And okay, Democratic so this is run republicly. Republicly, is this what? Is that what you're saying? This this, this city. city Republicly? Used to, republicly. <laughs> Run by Republicans? Used to be. Uh, but now we have Dave Coulter in there, and I think 10 other Democrats on the council. I'm sorry, this, that's, this is all his way of this is finding, his way. This is, I mean, finding I, enemies. I've told you finding over and over. Enemies. When you do you your have research, have you have to research to on both sides of the aisle. You, you have can't to just have get it people from one to side. Hate. You have to have an enemy. That's right. how Trump works. That's now wait. Even before Trump was president, when you and I were running for office, we've stated this that the Republicans and Democrats won't do nothing to help we the people. We didn't hate them. No, I don't we hate didn't, anybody. We didn't. Uh, I never uh, have. pit people against them, each other. They did as parties. They, on issues. Uh, Issues? Yeah. They would not help the people of Michigan when I when we were oh, running. Okay, so now wait. We they would not help the people of Michigan, and I'm not saying Democrats or Republicans at this point. They would not help the people of Michigan unless they could claim a victory over the other party. It's been that way for twenty years. That's you crap. can't argue that. That's crap. And not not to the degree that it is now. No, no. What this right now what what's going on right now is the hatred for one man. Has had militias had people that armed themselves in order to defend him, that are coming to the uh, polling areas with guns to well, show that, themselves. That's because of because of Benson. Who? Joslyn Benson. No, that's because of that's, Trump. No, Trump, that's because no, Benson no, no, brought no, it good. up. They would have never the done it. Now. We are into the issue now. And that is that Trump is the one that has brought up all this uh, uh, fake... Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. If I lose the election, the only way we can lose is if it is rigged. That's horseshit. He done That's that in like, 2016, too. Yeah. If I lose, it's rigged. But if I win, it's legit. Now, <laughs> they... that. That's the man that he's very egotistical about himself. He's very arrogant. No, and there's no denying that's that. That's a con. No, that, that ain't a, a con. That's, that's a his. Con. That's his way of of just like the polls. Okay, are. so the post office he interfered with. Uh, he did, did, did you the, know that the, the post second, office another, master said that he did not interfere with anyone? Uh, unfortunately, he did, and they found it out, and the courts it, have told him he's got to put those machines back. Yes, he did. That is nothing to do yes, with Trump. No, that yes, was, he did. That was done he before. gave Trump a million dollars and got the position. <laughs> Same thing as uh, uh, the everything that idiot anything woman. that deals with this administration, you have vehemently denied anything on it. You you have not accepted Trump the man as a president. You have not that accepted put the joy anything in that there. he's been doing. Trump himself he put him appointed in there. him. Yes, after a million dollars was given. <laughs> that's no, that's no. just like you get frustrated with the fact that Trump can go anywhere he wants to go, and it costs us the taxpayers money. It shouldn't. It uh, it happens oh, wait, Matt, wherever wait, he, okay. it did with okay, any other hold president. Hold it. Hold it. You get hold mad it. because it's a fact that it's his personal no. properties. Right, because it's going into his personal pocket. When Reagan left... The facts when, are no, the facts. He no, doesn't no, claim no, a salary. No, no. He does not claim no, a salary. No. He mm. still... I don't care. He you, still has the right to go wherever he wants to go. No. Yes. Not when you're putting the taxpayer's money then in your pocket. why isn't he not, getting in trouble for it? Because he is... Uh, Interfered with the emoluments clause, and no, it is he's in had court. The, it he, is in he, court. He doesn't have the right to fight. He is in court. With he that. doesn't have the right to fight. It is what you're telling me. Yes. Then why are you so pissed off about it? He's because in court. Because the emoluments clause 
says that you can't do that, but he's fought it in they court. Have, okay, so there it, is the attorneys are saying that he still has the right to do what he's doing. No, he's not. You're, just because you don't like the man. Uh, no, you no, don't like the fact uh, that he's going to where me, he wants to go. Let me explain it <laughs> so you understand. Okay. When other presidents traveled, yes, that taxpayer money was None used. of these no presidents, no does. other presidents have owned property like he does. He goes to his properties. He went one out of three days golfing. Yep. Okay, so that's taxpayer money. Yep. And he was doing that because it was helping to keep sustain his uh, businesses. No, I think he just goes there because he no. likes his properties. No. He's arrogant and he likes no, his properties. No, he's putting that taxpayer money in his pocket. You can he's look at it however you want. I'm telling you, the man okay. is arrogant well, everything I... that he's doing. And the facts is, he likes his properties. It if he had wrong. a way... Even the ethics if uh, he commissioner had a way, quit four months after he was even in. Even if he had a way he to He is put, cheating it. He even, is cheating it. You can listen, say anything you want. He he's cheating the taxpayer. If he had a way of putting his own planes out there... Instead of using Air Force One, he would. He didn't have planes. He's Everybody had Trump else. planes for Oh, no, no, that. no. He didn't own those. Either way, his name's all over him, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I can write <laughs> Trump on toilet paper, and it's his, too. <laughs> TP. Yeah. <laughs> you you missed the point. No, I haven't. He is stealing from the you, taxpayer. You have got it made he in your mind. He is taking the money, and he's going... Uh, no matter what I say, amount of time. no matter what I say, okay, it isn't right. convinced. So you want to say it's right? I'm Are not, you saying I, it's right? If he's choosing to go to his own properties, I could care less. Okay. I have never okay. once felt so, bad about any of the other other presidents going no, to wherever the hell they want to go. It's not my place to tell this one where he can go either. The others didn't go to their house. They didn't own the property that Trump stole. They do. don't. You aren't supposed to be doing that. He is padding his pockets. The same thing with his kids. They're traveling all over the world on taxpayer dime. They're working for the government. They are not working for the government. Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr. are just gallivanting wherever the hell they want. They can afford to go on their own anyways. They don't. They go on the taxpayer money. If it's just like the hundred and twenty million that went to New York, that should have come out of his pocket. Because his wife didn't want to be with him. They had to sign a contract so she would pretend to be first lady. This has all come out. You know, this what this bothers is me still... is how you can sit there and say this is okay. I don't have a hatred for the man. It's so not I a matter of the hatred. It, it is. is. This is a fact of you are cheating the people. You are taking our taxpayer money. You are going to your uh, businesses over and over and over again. And that money is going into your pocket. Your pocket. Again. I have no problem with a president going. Now, let's say he have went Have we to, ever had a president like this before? Not one that has done the things that he's done. Have we? Okay. Are, we have right. never had a president. I mean, let me ask you this. As a matter of fact, where, I don't think we've ever had a where is the president. 60, no, we haven't had a jackass like this before. <laughs> let me ask you this. Okay. The $62 million that they're still looking for from his inaugural, that money came from foreigners. That was against the emoluments clause. That is he's being investigated on. These are all things that will come out. Now, do you know why he needs to win this so bad? Because those... Uh, the statute of limitations will run out? Right. I know you've you've had this discussion before. Yes, I have. The thing is, he's not even transparent about it. He is a damn crook. The president is supposed to be someone you look up to, someone you can yeah. trust. But you cannot trust this son of a bitch. Not only that, even the other countries don't like him. How many presidents, how many presidents have said, don't come here? How many sports teams have said, we're not going there? This man... Brings Again, this on that's himself. The now, hatred. his cult, his followers, that's fine. His because cult. the one thing with him, if he wins. He will. If he wins. He will. Well, uh, uh, Putin will see to that. <laughs> if he wins, well, they you will got what? share well, in you our got, shit. We got Russia behind Trump and we got China behind Biden. Well, uh, you know, that was very funny because uh, Putin said that the Biden thing was all wrong. Right. I mean, that, that's kind of strange. And as far as the China thing, Trump is the only one, you know that he started that. <laughs> you know that he started that. I don't know who started it. He started it when he was, just before he was uh, leaving the White House, and he said, China needs to investigate him. He knows, he's the only one that knows about this.
He's the only one. They've been because talking nobody about it else. for months. Over he time. has been talking about it. And he's Fox not the News. only one because now Fox we got Look, we got what Ted uh, Bubbly, whatever his name is, that that worked with Hunter on all this. That's verified these emails now. Uh, we have minute. firsthand. Wait a minute. Have we, we, have have we seen him? Have we seen him? We haven't. No, we haven't. The FBI okay, has him, well, but this about, Ted Bubliani or whatever his name is, what about, Bubbly, uh, Bubbly Agee, whatever. What about uh, the same thing with uh, Hillary Clinton? Uh, allegedly, according to Mike Pompeo, he's got her 33,000 emails. I'd like emails. to see those ones. Okay, well, uh, he says he's going to do it at an opportune time. When is opportune? Or Probably do you really the have election. <sighs> You know, it, it's it's. Hey, this it guy come to, out on his own now, because okay, he look, says he's not going to have look, these. This if this is going, if this now. is going to be the standard, right? Then this country is going to go straight to hell. If, if this if is the standard, these people who run for it, pu for public office need to think ahead of time before they run now, because there's cameras everywhere. Oh, they, I mean, everybody's carrying these in their hands and pockets, and at a seconds notice they can be videoing you doing the stupidest yes, things and they can get but, around. And, and I'm going to go to my normal <laughs> speech. Tell these jackasses when you are on camera just like we are, whatever you say is recorded. Yeah, Trump is. said I didn't say that. Yeah, They both said that. <sighs> I mean you've got Biden who said I, he didn't say this about the horse face I, thing I, at the UAW employee and then they did and uh, uh, just recently he was on video uh, I don't know where he was, but he was he wasn't in a you know, uh, so, rally, and he he called uh, Trump Bush, George, George, not Bush, George. Uh, so the he, thing he is, doesn't remember all that yet. So this is a person leading our country. It is, and for people to say, well. That's just Trump, and that's just what he's doing. Well, no, I don't say that's just slope. Trump because who's next? Okay. Who's the next one to come in with big money and say, well, I'm going to run the country my way. I'm going to be president, and, and we're going from uh, uh, thankfully, democracy we still to have, an autocracy. Thankfully, we still have a democratic system to where we, the people, have the vote. But the problem is, look what's happening. Uh, ballot boxes are being put in place by the Republicans. In California. Ballot boxes have been set on fire. In democratic by areas, yeah. by somebody, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure it was a Democrat. <laughs> I don't know. I, you, okay. I don't pay attention. But I stay here in the state. All this stuff is coming from Trump and the far right. You don't hear the the Democrats. They're being accused of stuffing the boxes. Trump now has people in court. Now the next uh, one is going to go to the Supreme Court again for a second time. Only this time, he's got his person there. Now that woman said, "I am not." influenced by anything. I don't know anything about it. Are you an idiot? Because it was all over TV when he said, you know, if it I wasn't want Trump, if the it ninth was, person on there because Trump, of the election. If it wasn't Trump that appointed her, I think you would have had a lot of Democrats agree to her because she was very, she's probably been one of the most intelligent uh, people appointed for that position. Okay, so a but she's also okay. the first one that actually has school-aged children still. Let's has. say let's say that that uh, it's guilt by association. Trump has run his mouth about how he's going to pack the court and they are going to follow his agenda. Of course, McConnell no, said the same thing. No, he didn't say he was yes, going to pack did. the court. He said the Democrats are going to pack the court. No, 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 no. What no. he did is in not pack the court. In sixteen. Because Kennedy, when he resigned, there was some influence on that. Now that's starting to come out in the books. Well, that that's they, stuff all in the past. I mean, well, that's they, how Kavanaugh it was got FDR in. that originally started talking about. That's how Kavanaugh got in. Well, Trump. There's very few, if I remember right, that have appointed okay, three. Okay, so different. let's say let's say Trump is wrong. Let let's say he's just running off at the mouth, and these people aren't going that way. That Boy, they will right. vote the way he wants them to vote. Then why is it? Hey, now you can't even say that. Who John, Roberts went against Trump? But Roberts on his, didn't put him in, or he didn't put Roberts in. I understand, in. but he's still a conservative judge. He didn't put Roberts in. I didn't say he did. Kavanaugh is a is a uh, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh went against him too, on this Kavanaugh last one. Kavanaugh did not. On that this, was Gorsuch. Uh, okay, all right, but either way, 
Cat you know, we, are, we have what? Six conservative judges now and, and but, but three liberals. But my point is that Trump said he wants that ninth person on there. So when the election... Can't have if, a tie. Has, if the, when the election goes to the Supreme Court, he's going to fight every What's one of them. What's the Constitution say for the judges? Trump has already declared he's What the is winner. the Constitution say for our Supreme Court judges? It, it started out, if I remember right, back in the early or late 1700s with three judges. Yeah. Then it went to five. Yeah. Then it went to nine. Yeah. It has been nine for over 150 years. Yeah. So we needed nine judges. Trump's job was to appoint a judge. We have a friendly Senate, so they're going to appoint him. Now, this isn't the fastest appointment of a judge by any means. First of all, it was wrong. Why is it wrong? They keep throwing up uh, uh, Garrett Marlin, whatever. I can't think of his Merrick name. Garland. Merrick Garland. They keep throwing Merrick Garland in there because, uh, like you said, Mitch McConnell said, we're not going to do it during an election year. Because it was but too it close wasn't a to friendly, the election. It wasn't a friendly Senate. And you can go back and look in this, and you can okay. pay attention to all of it. Okay, so if he uh, decides to put three more on, uh, and he has a friendly I don't Senate. Think, I don't think don't Mitch think McConnell right? would do it. Well, McConnell won't have any choice in the matter. What, if, if Trump decided to put more? No. No, if, uh, let's say Biden wins, and Biden says, I'm going to put three more judges on. Let's, uh, hypothetically. That has to hypothetically. be. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, that would mean that the House has to pass it. Uh-huh. And that would go because that's made majority Democrat right now. Uh-huh. And the Senate would stop. Now, I'm saying if he had a friendly Senate. If if we had, a, well, in that case, what you're talking about, if Biden were to win, you'd have the House, the Senate, and the House, all three Democrats. The, the House, the Senate, and the President, all yeah. three, yeah, executive. We'd, we'd, we'd all be in trouble. Oh, you think so? Yeah. You think so? Yes. Okay, uh, with, let, with let me the, ask you. With, the, the, with AOC and the ones like that oh, that are so on. far left in there, we as a country would be in trouble. I'll tell you what, I would take AOC trouble. over Ted Cruz any day. I, no, no, I can't. I, I, and it has nothing to do with uh, uh, Republican or Democrat at this point. AOC is f flipping crazy. Ted Cruz isn't uh, much better. Maybe they should both be in a padded room. Well, Ted Cruz is more a religious fanatic. AOC is just a frickin'. Ted Cruz is a what? He's more of a religious addict. I mean, he, he wants to preach everything by the Bible, or am I thinking of uh, uh No, you're Rubo, thinking of somebody Ma else. Mario Ru no. Rubio? No, no Rubio. Rubio, uh, his his uh, mind is still in uh, Cuba because everything be out of his mouth. I had cereal today. When I was in Cuba, we didn't have cereal. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, look, but you're look, here. Shut AOC, the hell up. AOC and Omar, Omar over in Minnesota. Johan Omar, isn't that it, or is it Omar Johan? Omar. She just was on the radio talking about that uh, if Biden wins, he needs to bring in. Uh, Bernie Sanders into his cabinet. He needs to bring in people like no, AOC. Actually, and actually, I don't uh, think he will. And I'll tell no, you No, he won't because, but he'll no. be forced to do it. No, no, no. I don't think he would because, because I think hey, I'm Bernie, telling you, the ultra Bernie left would, is I don't think leading Bernie this would take it. Democrat because Bernie can do more in the Senate than he can if he were in a cabinet post. Now, I'll tell you who I would like to I'd see in the cabinet you, post. I agree with you, but they're all I would too like far to left. See, I would like to see, and they, they can say what they want. They're no, okay, even if they say something stupid, it's no worse than the stable genius. <laughs> okay, I'll give I you I mean, that. Uh, what did I tell you before? Well, you've told me a lot of things before. You know, we have a lot of differences and disagreements. Excremental but... for cranium. <laughs> Shit for brain. <laughs> Yes, I remember that. Cranial but at the excrement same time, comes out of his mouth every day. I mean, day. You, you still got the far left he pushing. He is an idiot. You've got the, he still have hate. the far left pushing for socialized medicine. Okay, now hold and on. And that's a hold $34 on, hold tra hold $30 about trillion the dollar First of all, socialized medicine isn't going to happen because we are a capitalist country. Now. Uh, unless Biden wins. No. It, then it, he'll push I, it. But he You'll have the Democratic push. Party will Hold try it. to push it Hold through, it. and then you've got the green, uh, New Green Deal, or Green well, New I'm Deal. I'm going to ask you this then. And that, right that's, now, that's right there. He's already made the comment that he wants to do away with the fossil fuel industry, and you've got, okay. you've got Michigan involved in that. Michigan will lose over 500,000 jobs if they do away with the fossil fuel. You've okay, got go ahead. Texas that's going to lose over a million jobs 
if they do away with the fossil fuel industry. I mean, you've got issues. All right, you've got him saying that he's going to ban fracking, which is technically he can only do on federal land. That's all he said. But you have you Gretchen have Whitmer. The whole you thing. have Gretchen Whitmer that, seeing how he's banning it on federal land, will turn around and ban it within our state as well. Okay. Now we have federal land, if I remember right, here in Michigan. It's yeah, called the every, state. Every state, state has federal land. Forestries. Yeah, every state. And there's has a lot of fracking that goes on in those. I'm not aware of that. Yeah, you know, I am because I used to work for Halliburton. Okay, that's fine. And I remember going up there to uh, uh, Lewis, Michigan, and, and Mayo, well, Michigan, I, I and Atlanta, Michigan, doing the Cal fracking Casca, up there. Casca, yes, under the Nixon administration, has enough oil for 12 years at 1980 consumption. That wouldn't surprise me. But what they but did, but because what, of fracking, our industry has grown did, where we've been able to. They become. brought it up and they capped it. So the oil is there. The money is there. That's why Calcasca is loaded. As a matter of fact, they bought the hotel that I used to work at. But the oil is there. It's just we're saving it. Now, okay, what he said, he did say that. First of all, for to say something like he did, that I'm going to get rid of it, that's not going to happen. That's just no. Stupid. It's not going to happen. It but the fact happen. is, first of all, it, it, it would be impossible. Well, to happen. right. He, if he was to do that right now, he could. if he if he tr well he could. But the fact is, he, I mean, he could put the businesses out by okay, fining okay. them and everything else. But if he were to do that, the, you know, the so-called 18 million jobs that he thinks he's going to create uh, on there, we would lose 30 okay. million jobs on that alone. Just logically. Just logically. Okay. The same thing with the gun. I'll ask you two questions. I'll give you two chances. <laughs> One, taking all the guns away. Possible the, or what, what, bullshit? They, they, Trump put that in there and he says, bingo, or something like that. Possible or bullshit? It's bullshit because the people would okay. stand up. Number one. Number two, he could shut down the fossil fuel industry like that. Come on, let's be real. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be a snap, but he could force them by fines and everything else. That's exactly how it was phrased. First of all, that wouldn't even happen. You couldn't shut down. I mean, if you think COVID is bad, wait till you see till shutting down the fossil fuel industry. Well, the country off, runs between, on it. Between what he's been saying and his taxes, it, we're going to lose. You're going a to lot have of the businesses to, would leave okay. again and you, more. You're going to have to go to renewable energy anyway because... First of renewable all, we, energy can't keep up with the demands that this country goes through. I, I, look at I, California. Agree, but you're look at California. They're it. going. No, you don't. How do you think we have to do it? Why do we have to do it? Because sooner or later the oil is going to run out. It's not. A, not in a, our lifetime. It's not an endless supply. We've got the largest supply right here that we could use in over. And how much do you think? Two hundred years. Have? How much do you think we? I have? don't know. We got billions of gallons down there. Are you sure? Yes. Billions of barrels. Somehow, I, I don't. And when they when they started fracking and sh and getting oil out of shale, that's when we went to energy dependent on our fossil fuels. And if I now, remember it, right, the U.S. is the number one for natural gas as well. It, isn't it also a fact that Trump, you know, the the people in the oil industry are making so much money that oh, they yeah. they don't want to go lower. Uh, their workers do. Well, but first off, don't. I don't. I do agree with Biden on one thing: the oil industry doesn't need to be getting incentives. Oh, I don't. That that should have been taken care of a long time ago. Yes, but it that, should have. That comes up in every election. Yeah, I mean, that's does. that's one of the standards. We need to stop them, but then we never do. No. Um, some of the stuff that they say, whether it be Biden or Trump, or or any politician, a lot of it is bullshit. It can't happen. It's a nice thought. It's a nice but arguing to point. Turn around and you and, and I can say argue that, this. To turn around and say it, something that drastic. Now, is it not true that the earth is changing? It goes, it, goes, it goes through changes, cycles, yes. And you think this is a cycle? You don't think that the scientists, look, what they look, say is I, true? You're, you're going to go into global warming and climate change. No, be, no, I'm just saying. Here, here's is, here's is what here? it is. Look, or, or, when the dinosaurs were alive, we were at a higher level of carbon dioxide many, than we are now. How many years Second were of the off, di dinosaurs alive? Hundreds of millions. Yeah. 
but we ha was also higher in oxygen content. That's why they were so big. But I'm not a scientist. But on the facts is, if the United States were to go completely 100% green, okay, wouldn't be enough to affect the world climate change. It's the idea we're that not the number one. I mean, China emits more carbon than we do. The re no Europe argument. and all of them. No argument. But emit what more he than did, we do. We are one of the cleanest countries. What he did was by pulling out of that, he basically turned it over to China. So China was running it. They, China can run it any way they want because but we when were the we, ones he that pulled us out. Of, you're talking about the the, uh, the peace uh, Paris Accord. Yeah. On that, look. The United States was emitting less than most of the countries anyways at yeah, that point in time. Yeah, but we made others uh, go to those rules. We can't. We, ha we were the leader. There's, People look, look to us. I do not believe, and I, I, you know, I do not, I'm not one of these people that believe in climate change to the extent that I think our little country is going to stop from global warming, okay? The Earth goes in cycles. It's proven fact. You can go up. They take core samples out of the, the Arctic and, and, yes, the and Antarctica they, all the time. They've seen that, and and they've had sediments from volcanic eruptions from billions or millions of years ago. I'm not going to say billions. So all these fires that are going on, that's that's just natural. The ones that are in California. Oregon, Washington. Personally, Colorado. I'm never running for president. I care less about California. I've hated that state all my life. That's the only thing I can ever tell you I hate is that state. From being a truck driver for over you 36 know, the years. The one thing that bothers me is, is our country is going through a change. It is. And it's going our, through a drastic change. Our, what we are going, what we are voting I for. Apologize and I apologize for I, saying I, I hate that state. But I have to say this. Beautiful women there. One thing that really impresses me right now is the fact of 66 million people have already voted. And what, you know what they're finding out? This might shock you, about 50% of it is Republicans. Is that what you think? That's what they're saying from Rasmussen and all, uh, well, like Trubig, okay. Trigler. We'll, we'll find out, yeah. we'll find out. A week from today, we will find out. No, we won't. We won't find out for probably a week uh, until a week uh, after, three, I got the three feeling, days to a week I, I, after. I, I feel that you may find it out that day. I have a now Trump is going to try to call it. He's now this is what he says. It won't do him no good. Yeah, because the count the uh, yeah. absentee ballots won't all be in. Well, Michigan has uh, ten business days to finish up their count, and each state Currently, is different. Yes. Yeah, each state is different. Yeah. Trump is trying to go through and say, no, you can't do that. No, it's it's not postmarked. And that's why I say he did interfere with the post office. Well, you can say it what doesn't you matter want. on that. Trump has well, no yeah, control over the election. Well, yeah, because if those election, ballots if those ballots don't get there. The Trump has no. Now, I, I will tell you this. Control over the, the state's elections. No, he doesn't, but he talks like he does. And he yeah. is, there is some intimidating factors. This fact, uh, I, I got to tell you, my wife went and voted. Mm hmm because she is afraid to go to the polling area. Now here, uh, you and I went to the same polling area, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Yep. Is there any reason that you would be afraid? No. Well, unfortunately, this is happening. His rhetoric is bringing that up. Now, Trump's rhetoric. I still say where you're going with this, with the guns and everything, that's Jocelyn Benson oh. that brought it up. If she would have never brought Trump it up. Trump brought that up and uh, if Don she Jr. Would have never brought that as up, getting it would the have never army come to of people. No, because that was uh, done through uh, Junior. Not with Michigan. No, across the board. He was the one that was getting the army of uh, people yeah, to I watch. Remember, I, well, yeah, 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 he was recruiting them. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, our, 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 our time is winding down, so uh, I want to say my piece and I'll turn it over to you. I am impressed with the amount of people that are voting. Now, whichever way it goes, the one thing that is nice is people are getting out and not just going to the polls and casting their vote, but they're also waiting in line. Mm -hmm. The fact that they're 10 hours, some of them in the rain, some of them in the hot sun, they to me are fighting like our revolutionary war again. Granted, the soldiers that fought 
were in the snow, they hardly ate, they, they had dysentery, uh, they lived in conditions that we wouldn't tolerate, but they fought that war. What they're doing now is not to that degree that they did, but it is the same principle. We are fighting something, and they are taking their vote and saying, no, I'm not going to lose my vote. And they are saying something. This is rather than uh, uh, my vote don't count. What difference does it make? They're voting. That Trump is going to leave a legacy, but I think he's going to leave a legacy of we don't have the honor, we don't have the morals, we don't have the the uh, ethics, and it's now going to have to be spelled out. I think we've lost a lot of that even before Trump, um, and I I'm waiting to see what to the a point actual, I agree with you. I'm waiting to see the actual count for the vote. I want to see it go up over 130 million. I, ho I hope it does. I um, think people will come out because I I wouldn't be surprised if we actually hit close to 170 million votes this time. Well, I because I think there's people who are seriously worried about where the country is going on both sides of the aspect yeah. because I heard a term today that surprised the heck out of me. I heard the term actually used a Trump Democrat. Let that one sink into your craw. Instead of a Reagan Democrat, now they're calling Trump Democrats along with the Reagan Democrats. Uh, this, this but, <laughs> Anything, but either way, okay. the main thing is to go out Vote. Yes. Vote your yes. conscience. I don't care if you vote Democrat, Republican. You know, I have my views. Dave has his views, and I'm sure you have your views. The main thing is to go out and vote. Have your voice heard. That is the power of the people, and the power of the people is what elects our presidents. Now, it may not be the popular vote that does it because according to our constitution it's the electoral colleges yeah. but your votes decide where those delegates put their votes so vote is the main thing yes absolutely. if you if you are afraid to go to polls get your absentee ballot out i think you're almost at your limits here in yeah. michigan go but. with a friend uh... if you see something pull your camera out Go straight to the Just person not in, in the, the polling not area. in the polls yeah. themselves. Go into the polling area, get the leader in there, and say, look, this person, they cannot talk to you. They cannot intimidate you. They are not allowed to even come near you. Now, they wait, can you, watch. That, you, they have the right to watch. depends on who you're talking about. Uh, poll watchers. They're inside. Inside and outside. Now, outside, they have to stay a distance away, and they cannot, they can only come so far. Poll watchers are inside. The ones outside that are... The candidates, uh, surrogates, they're not supposed to be talking uh, well, to they, you out there. They're saying that there, there's people out there with guns and with, you know, well, yelling they at They have people. the right to carry guns. Yeah, they, okay. it's not, we've got sheriffs that, will say, that are saying okay. they're not going to the, the point uh, is, that. this is something that you and I definitely agree on. Please vote. Yes. And, yeah, I would like to see the record. I would like to see that. That would that would be something. I, I that would. I and I, unfortunately, I so, think it's going to go against what you want. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see on that one. <laughs> we'll see you again next time, and uh, one of us is going to be happy, and one of us is going to. Uh, it oh. don't matter to me. Well, I'll be happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Thanks for watching. Please vote. <laughs>